Hello and welcome guys to more StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void uh, I will continue with mission 8 Before talking with uh, Verzun Let's check out the war concept The Nerezim fought valiantly beside us Even unto the destruction of their world Why? Their homeworld has always been ire they have never forgotten it, or the sacrifice that delivered them to safety. You speak of Adun, so saith Judicator Xentheon. Adun failed to eradicate the rogue tribes, those who call themselves the Dark Templar. We witnessed the burst of the Twilight Star. In that treasonous instant, Adun ushered the heretics and himself to fate, purifying ire of their taint but allowing them life. Treason? A Dune chose mercy rather than committing genocide. This was a noble act, Preserver. Was it? I see history through the eyes of those who lived it, Artanus. Perhaps this is why you are blind to all that is before you. History's truths are only ever understood looking through the backwards lens, seeing its consequences take root. As a preserver, I have always experienced history as a living, breathing now, as those who experienced it in the moment did. Perhaps I should consider the way you view it. Yeah, uh, it's a bit. This Rohana is a bit weird. She should be a bit more objective about everything. Okay, um. I will go with the Dark Templar. <laughs> And here, let's say the Immortals are okay. And here I prefer the Dragoons. They are better. Alright now, um, let's go on the Solar Core. Let's see what else is new. What's this? Warp. Passable. Not enough Solarite. Power can be diverted from other abilities. Warp and cooldowns are ten percent faster than the original build times. Uh, weird. Okay, let's get back. Um, let's use some things here, like uh, some auxiliary construction time reduces the time required to warp structures onto the battlefield. Ah, uh, don't care about that. Provides extra supply in the beginning. That I want. <coughs> okay, now let's go to the bridge. In Arudin, Shakuris. And let's talk with Versum. Shakuris is gone. It has become one with the eternal night. But the traditions we forged there will remain with us forever. Is that still possible, Matriarch? More so than you may realize. What do you know of the Shadow Walk, Artanis? Little. Your people closely guard their customs. It is our most sacred rite of passage. The Initiate stands alone. Members of her tribe strike against her from the shadows. If she endures, she becomes a Shadow Hunter. True Dark Templar. Why do you speak of this? You stood alone as Dark Templar against countless enemies, risking your life for the many. You have walked as we have. You have walked the Shadow Path already, Artanis. You no longer have the Kala. You are Dark Templar. What the hell? Shakuris has fallen, and Amon's grip tightens. If we are to stand against him, we will need more than warriors. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient Purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. 
Here on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors! Let's check out the war console. The Talarim. They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years. But in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Taldarim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. It's getting more and more interesting, guys. And since we're gonna fight against Protoss, we must make some changes here. Um, Shadow Cannon deals heavy damage to new ground or areas. Deals most damage to armored units. I return to serve. The skies are better. Shufuri, permanently cloak, mukpen, ground units. Ah, uh, yeah. These guys are better against. Yeah, let's go with the Dark Templar, the Shadow Fury. <sighs> Solar Core. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of. A byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. Interesting. It's getting more and more interesting. Alright, there is it. Back. Bridge. Many of my Dark Templar have volunteered. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Let's get going, guys. So here we go, guys. Finally, we begin. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and buy the game if you enjoyed. There's a link in, in the description to g2way.com and use the SHD code for a 3% discount, okay? The game is getting closer and the story is getting more and more interesting. So stick with me. The Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in. Alright guys, here we begin. 
You have to be sneaky and fast in this mission. Not necessarily fast, but sneaky. And um, the displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. I recommend using uh, Dark Templars for uh, attacking. All you have to do is reach that point. So use uh, a squad of let's say six to eight Dark Templars to get there. It's going to be easy as long as you use the solar uh, the solar lane ability or solar what um yeah detecting a Taldorine force amassing outside of our nexus point we must prepare for assault wait these sentries were left behind let me activate them they are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors yeah um we won't be using this units much i mean uh we will defend we will defend the base with uh, with regular zealots and all other types of units, but the dark templars we will use to to attack. All we must care uh, of is we must pay attention to the units that can detect cloaked units, to the enemy units that can detect cloaked cloaked units, and take those out. And there, our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. All right, so basically we will use a shortcut. Guys, there is a bonus objective, which uh, you'll have to be fast a bit if you want to fully do it. I mean, look, now I'm using the, the solar lance to destroy that uh, defensive structure that allowed the enemy to see the cloaked units. And now I can make Dark Templars and start attacking them. But for the beginning there will be some attacks, guys. With uh, Dark Templars it's easy to defend. And slowly I will build up defenses and you will see that it's going to be extremely easy to defend. The attacks are extremely easy to defend against. And um, attacking is again extremely easy because you don't have to destroy anyone, you just have to sneak in and reach that point. That's all. And Dark Templars are perfect for that. But you have to use the Solar Lance ability to, to fully do it. You must combine Dark Templars with Solar Lance ability. Okay. With this Dark Templars, as you can see, I'm under attack again. They have a really nice ability. They, uh, they attack five times like that, you know, fast attacks, body to body with the enemy units. Um, three work gates are more than enough, trust me. I mean, you won't need to spam that many units. All you have to do is make a squad, as I told you, of eight Dark Templars. And that's it. Build defenses with um, monoliths and some... Uh, what are they called? Wait, photon cannons, yeah. Uh, combine monoliths with photon cannons and batteries to rege regenerate the shields of these uh, structures and that's it. You are defended. You can make additionally, you can make uh, zealots and that's it. The photon cannons will deal damage against the uh, against the air units and land units. The the monolith will also deal damage again damage against air units. The reason I'm saying eight eight dark templar eight uh, a squad of eight dark templars is because they they kill units faster when you want to kill units of course. Um, but yeah, you can go with, even with one. You can go with one Dark Templar. If you're sneaky enough, you can finish this mission only with one Dark Templar uh, in attack. Okay, so there is the bonus objective. Um, do you see at the middle of the, the path? Okay, so I'm sneaky here. I'm destroying the crystal. You must destroy the crystal to open this gate. The the pylon, sorry. So I am using the solar lens ability to destroy the pylon and now the gate opens. And basically now you 
uh, you can go through a shortcut. But guys, at the middle of the distance between uh, between this uh, red dot and the green dot, there is the second solarite, and you need to go you need to go fast after that one because uh, the red dot will destroy it. Will destroy it if you don't get there in time. Okay, right now I'm using monoliths to defend myself. I'll build um, some batteries, and as you can see, focusing defense is extremely easy, and um, the attacks are not that, let's say, uh, heavy on me. You can take your time, of course, there's no problem in it. You can build some photon cannons, you can make some more batteries, and everything. Nobody rushes you. And it looks like uh, there was another attack sent, but my uh, Dark Templars took care of it. And now all you have to do, guys, is spam uh, Zealots, Dark Templars. Usually I combine Zealots and Dark Templars, because just in case I will lose these Dark Templars. I mean, I'm not that uh, sneaky, and I eventually lose the Dark Templars, and I create some additional. Okay. Do you see that photon can? That photon can is deactivated. No reason to focus that one. Okay, but there's another photon cannon. Uh, it was not in our sight, but what's in our sight is the pylon that gives energy to that photon cannon. So let's take out the pylon. All right. Now actually focus. It actually destroyed the, uh, the, the, the pylon and the photon cannon, that photon cannon. Because that photon cannon can be uh, charged by the other pylon. And this way, as you can see, no need to destroy the buildings. I don't know why I'm doing it. Um, no reason to destroy the buildings. Go straight on the right side to get the solar right. If you want to go and finish the mission, you must go top. This path is blocked, guys. On the right side, there is nothing but death. I was looking for, for solar right here, and it's not here. It's a bit more on the left. Okay, now go top, Sergio. Okay, there it is. The solar right is there. It's in the path. Another solar right sample obtained. Oh, actually, it's not gonna get destroyed by the the array. Actually, I was mistaken. Yeah, but nevertheless, you got the solar. I got the solar ray, and now it's time to use uh, the same shortcut and go uh, straight to the to the green point. Of course, there will be some more defensive positions. I'll have to destroy some more photon cannons in order to get there um, undetected. I mean, it's no problem if you are detected, but you have to fight and you will get damage and so on. Um, yeah. But what I have in defense now is too much, actually. It's way too much. Uh, the attacks are not that strong, and I will be, I will be there in no time. Okay, now it's time to to move on. There was a, there is another attack on my base, but yeah, we must uh, focus our objective. The defensive uh, structures can deal with. What came? Okay, now there you go. If you want, guys, you can go straight for the for the pylons. Don't 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 waste your time with photon cannons right away. Destroy the the pylons, and you should be good. I'm not sure how many attacks you have to make on the pylons to get them destroyed, but on the photon cannons, you need three attacks. It's required. Okay, we got two solar rides. The third solar ride is on our path. Okay, no need to destroy this this units. You can go straight ahead, but we are dependent on the solar um, solar on uh, our solar ability. The defensive is strong. Now let's advance. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Tal'Darine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms, clever. 
Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Okay, do you see? They are gonna activate it with those photon cannons. Those are defenses from the facility. Uh, slowly they will rebuild, so be careful. And there are more on that side. So, so be careful, be careful. You must uh, slowly advance and if you wait for the solar eye, of course you must have intel of what's going on. You must have intel of what's going on. Of what's going on in the enemy base and you can know that only by uh, res uh, scouting. Okay, and you have dark templars, how do you scout? You use dark templars to scout. Okay, as you can see, the that thing does a shit ton of damage even to cloak units. Look, they're rebuilding. All right, they're rebuilding that thing over there. That's why I must take it out, and it's out. There are more. There are more photon cannons, and I must be careful. Of course, I have to also be patient and use my solar lance ability. That path is safe, but as you can see, there is a photon cannon over there. But my units are really fast. Oh, oh, be careful, Sergio. Okay, that's pretty much a trap, and I got lost. And there is that. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't, let's say, patient. I thought, hey, I'm gonna get through that. But it's not like that. You must slowly make your push and that's it. Of course, nothing is lost if you if you lose that over there. Just get more just get more Dark Templars. Even with one Dark Templar you can get through it, guys. It's no it's no big deal at all. But you must avoid the uh, the defenses, and you must take care of the buildings that reveal the cloaked units, the photon cannons, and the, the uh, their respective units. Yeah. So I'm going. I'm going with another squad of Dark Templars, and this time I'm gonna succeed. I'm gonna succeed because I will use a Solar Lance ability in order to fulfill my in order to fulfill my uh, objective but you can also wait for this uh, red laser to get closer to the technology vault because it destroys uh, it destroys their stuffs as well so there's no problem for you it's only in your advantage Okay, I'm staying away from trouble. I'm destroying the, the pylon and there is that. I reached the vault. Easy. Piece of cake. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Face Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. Not as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. All right, guys. So it's a victory for me on brutal difficulty, forbidden weapon. It looks like we've got some achievements as well. Let's see, pull the plug, destroy six soldering gateways or warp gates in the forbidden, uh, forbidden weapon mission on normal difficulty. We didn't do that. So nevertheless, guys, um, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the, the, the video, please subscribe. And also, if you like the game, make sure to buy. There is a link in the description to G2A.com. Let's continue. You win.
wish to see me, Faye Smith? Artanus, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. Interesting. We will continue in the next uh, video, guys. So thank you a lot for watching. And see you. Bye-bye.